Okay, so when you're cutting stencils to put on our tumblers, these are the ones I have designed here. I'm making a whole bunch, but I just wanted to show you when you go to make it, we are going to want to spread these out. So you want about an inch on each side of them so that the citrus strip doesn't run over. So I'm just gonna move mine even away from this main corner here, kind of down and over about a half to an inch. And then this one too, about a half of there. And then this one I can kind of keep in the middle there and I'll cut around about there. And then this one should be good there. Okay, so I, you wanna spread them out so that you have room. If you're just doing one, I would just move it in and down about a half an inch to an inch to be safe that you have enough room on that edge. So now I'm cutting them out of permanent vinyl and Cricut vinyl just to try both of them. And then since we're using it as a stencil, we wanna weed out the actual letters inside. And then I'm gonna apply transfer tape to my whole image to make sure all of those little pieces get saved. Use a scraper to scrape it down well. I like to scrape on the front side and the back side. And then I'm gonna use the hinge method to put this on my tumbler, but you could definitely just eyeball it. So I'm gonna add blue painter's tape to the bottom and the top of it once it's aligned. And then I'm gonna pull up that transfer tape and the vinyl sheet just a little bit, just half of it. And then I'm gonna cut off the backing paper and after you do that, you can place it down exactly where you wanted it on the tumbler and you have it set in place now. So now I can remove the painter's tape. I'm going to make little slits just to make it easier to work with that curvature at the top. So I'm going to peel off the back of the transfer of the vinyl here. And so since it's already stuck on, I'm just going to pull it a little bit and place it over. And then the top I can move around a little bit more since those slits are there and push it down really well. So you can use your fingers or a scraper and then I'm going to pull off the transfer tape. And once that's off I'm going to make sure everything's stuck really well. I'm going to use my finger and fingernails to kind of go over all the little bubbles that are around the letters any sort of space that we have right next to any of the letters or images is where leaks can occur so i'm trying to get it every part down as well as i can up near those letters the top curvature on this bottle is a little bit tougher it would have been much easier if this was a little bit smaller design so i didn't have to deal with that narrowing at the top there but once everything is done, I'm going to use my citrus strip. I'm going to put some in a cup and then just start kind of dumping it and placing it right on top of there. You notice I put some blue painter's tape around. And so if there's any spots that you don't have enough room on the edges, you can put painter's tape because this stuff will kind of leak a little bit onto the sides um, with gravity as it's sitting there for the hour. So I'm just going to keep dabbing this on until all of those parts are covered. And like I said, if it kind of runs on the side, I will just use the paintbrush and kind of pull it up a little bit. So I'm going to let this sit for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. And so this one is already done. It's been sitting for about an hour, hour and a half. So I just like to use paper towels to take all of the gel off. And you'll see even the paint starts to come off as I start scraping it down a little bit harder. And then once that's off, I'm going to pull the whole vinyl stencil off. And once it's off, you can either use a blue sponge that has kind of a rough abrasive side to it, or I like to, I found just using paper towels, got it just a little bit wet, and just with my finger 
is really pressing down hard and rubbing and that paint just starts to come off. So as you go over it more and more and more, you'll get more paint off into those edges. And if there was any little spots that I didn't push down real well, there will be slightly a couple little bleeds on these. So I just keep rubbing and rubbing. And then once I have it all off, I will wash it with soap and water. You can also weed off any extra little pieces that you have on there. And again, so using a sponge or just a paper towel that's just a little bit damp. And then I did the same thing with my white one here. Really just pressing on it just with my finger and that paper towel there. It just pulls that off. Just kind of keep rubbing in the same spot till it's totally clear. Okay, so there you have all the mugs we did. This one was actually kind of a, a rough font, so it came out a little bit rough. You can see there are a few places that I got some leaks where I didn't push it down enough. So there's on the stainless steel stemless one, and this one actually doesn't even feel like it's pat I didn't even think it would work because <clears throat> it's much shinier and smooth on the top. And then this one we have, and I did name and that white one again. And then this is an old one I had that I put stickers on and I actually did it. This one was probably the hardest one to rub off. And I don't know if it's just because it was older, but it took me a while and some real strong um, pushing on there but I was able to get it off with just the sponge on this side the rougher side and the paper towel okay so those are all and they're so fun okay thanks for stopping by and happy crafting